Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with a C, back with another video. And I'm back with a very different video compared to my normal ones. And I don't think I've ever done a video showing seven inch singles before. But um, playing in the background and what you could hear before um, I began my intro is this band Chaos Horde. Um, this was sent to me a few months ago now. Uh, very kindly by Nick over at Vicious Witch Records and it's playing in the background because Nick has very kindly sent me two 7 inches I have a small 7 inch collection um, but it's not something that I normally go out and buy or go looking for I will pick them up um, if I see them but I've got two to show you that he sent me so thank you very much Nick um, please check out Vicious Witch Records I have mentioned them before in my videos. They're based in just outside of Manchester. Um, and he has started putting out his own music, but he's also a really good distro. A lot of blackened speed thrash metal. And also um, uh, an Asian label called Awakening. It's either Awakening Productions or Awakening Records. And they specialize in all sorts of real underground and obscure um, heavy metal bands but they're very good but let me show you what he sent me he sent me this first off this is a band from Brazil this is a 2021 release on Vicious Witch Records um, and as I said black and thrash so you know what you're getting this is Diabolical Evil Cursed by Blood or Cursed by Blood let's get it out of there so you can see what's going on yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, the cover says it all, doesn't it? It's, it is blackened speed thrash metal. It's a one man band. There's a little inner there. One man band, this guy. Um, Infernal Rider does everything. But it's excellent. What I like about it as well. And as you know, with, and I say it in my videos, I'm, I'm quite new to really getting into blackened thrash. But there's a lot of it around at the moment, and I am really enjoying it, if I'm honest. But um, I was going to show you the, the record. It comes in like a, its own little um, little sleeve there. But there's the label. But yeah, it's excellent, excellent blackened, angry thrash metal. It's got a nice bit of technicality in there, and some nice tempo changes it slows down every now and again um, which gives it a real sort of traditional heavy metal feel I know a lot of these black and thrash bands they do incorporate that that heavy metal um, traditional heavy metal sound and I think that's why it's quite appealing to me because as much as I'm a old school death metal lad I'm a real sucker for good old traditional heavy metal but yeah it's really good diabolical evil and cursed by blood and he also sent me, and this is a brand new release from this year. Let me just get it out of the case. Um, this is a split seven inch between Chaos Horde, who I showed in the beginning, and Razor Forge. So we'll start with Razor Forge because that's kind of on the fold out. That's the first one you come to. Now, Razor Forge is a project by Jorgen. Um, and Jorgen has his own channel on YouTube, Natskog, he's called, and he also has his own death metal band, Garden of Eyes, which I have a few of their releases, uh, which Chris from Cavernous Records put out, but they're more of a, a HM2 sounding death metal band. This is his, and there you can see him there. This is his heavy metal project. This isn't so much blackened thrash metal but you would call it sort of um, more traditional heavy metal but with a speed element this is its first release I do believe under the, the name Razor Forge and it's it's very DIY it's very unpolished it sounds like someone who is recording at home is having a good time recording it's like I say, very garage sort of sounding, very DIY. At moments, to be honest, it, 
some of the guitar work it does sound a little bit out of tune if i'm if i'm honest um but you know that kind of gives it that raw and i always talk about that raw diy sound that i like so much and it does it's, it's got a nice it's got character because of that um and also you can kind of see where the guy is going with this i've noticed from his channel when i've been watching his channel he's getting more and more into his real old school heavy metal band so i'm certainly looking forward to uh, seeing what else he puts out but the other side chaos horde uh, they are a greek band let me show you the inside of that and these guys like i say they've they've got an album out an ep the the production's much better they're much more rounded they've definitely sort of already found their sound but they're they're excellent they're really um you can hear it in the background can't you there's a lot of that going on in, in this song um it's got a real nice um tempo change in there there's some nice lovely sort of guitar work some great solos i mean like proper ripping solos um but yeah brilliant it's uh, nick's doing a great job like i say vicious witch is it on there oh it's on the inside you can see it there i think this has got a little um some inside there as well hasn't it let's have a if i can get that out without damaging it oh yeah so there you go I do think uh, Razor Forge have just brought out a t-shirt with that design on. And there's the Chaos Horde. You know, with these seven inches, they don't need to do things like that, I don't suppose. It's a gatefold and it's got a poster inside it as well. You can't ask more than that, can you? There's the label. Is that the right way up? No. Like I say, it's a very uh, it's a very good, a very good split. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing more from Jorgen. I mean, his Garden of Eyes project is very much the same. He, he, he does keep it very much sort of DIY sounding. So if, you, if you're into your polished sound, it's not for you. Chaos Horde are a bit more polished. But yeah, um, two-man band they are. Unholy Grandpa on vocals and Dimitor on guitars. But yeah, quality. Thank you very much, Nick, for sending me them. I really do appreciate it. Please go and check out Nick's label, Vicious Witch. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting him at a gig a couple of years ago, maybe now, in Manchester, because he lives just on the outskirts. I'm very much hoping that I get to see him again at a gig in the future. And that's it, guys. Thank you for spending some time with me, letting me um, show you some releases from a friend of mine's label. Vicious Witch, Re Vicious Witch Records, I will leave the link below. Um, that's it. In the background, Chaos Hall. I have said that already, so I don't know why I'm saying it again, but there you go. Thanks as always for watching guys, and I'll, uh, I'll be back very soon with another video. Until then, take care. Bye for now. I just found this inside the um, single the seven inch single so if anyone wants to try it out first come first served there's a download code there is it for band camp it is for band camp i'll leave that there for a the minute or you can always pause this anyway please check it out razor forge chaos horde thanks guys <laughs>